Hi, I'm Cynthia Nixon. I'm taking the Shakespeare Challenge. I'm doing Sonnet 130 uh, for the LGBTQ plus uh, edition. Uh, I'm delighted to be doing this for the public theater. I am a longtime uh, devotee of the public since I was six and I saw my first Shakespeare, which was Hamlet with uh, Stacey Keach, James Earl Jones, and Colleen Dewurst. I've only worked there once. I played Juliet there uh, at the public when I was 21, a long time ago. Uh, so I'm going to recite this poem, uh, and I encourage you to um, take the challenge. Recite it in your own way. Uh, make up a dance that is inspired by it. Do a painting do a macrame, do a collage, you name it, and post it so we can see it. Uh, this is, uh, I've chosen this sonnet because I think it is the funniest. Not that many of them are, are laugh out loud funny. I think this one is. Um, and I think it's great because in addition to just being silly and making fun of um, romantic similes and, and the poet, uh, speaking about his beloved in the most ridiculous and elevated terms. It also slyly um, questions really what these standards of, of beauty and femininity are that we, that we adhere to. My mistress' eyes are nothing like the sun. Coral is far more red than her lips red. If snow be white, why then her breasts are done. If hairs be wires, black wires grow on her head. I have seen roses damasked red and white, but no such roses see I in her cheeks. And in some perfume is there more delight than in the breath that from my mistress reeks. I love to hear her speak, yet well I know that music hath a far more pleasing sound. I grant I never saw a goddess go, my mistress, when she walks, treads on the ground. And yet by heaven, I think my love as rare as any she, belied with false compare. <laughs>